everybody, it's Deja from KnitandCrochetOverAfter.com and today I'm doing a review for this Swan Tension Guide. So this is a little ring I saw on Instagram and it was on a Yarnspiration ad and it wouldn't let me check out. I wanted to buy it but it would not let me check out on Instagram so I went and even I couldn't find it like when I went to the Yarnspiration website I was like searching yarn or um swan yarn tension guide I couldn't find it so I don't know I went to Amazon and I found a three pack for $9.99 so it was actually a better deal because the yarn inspiration ring was like 25 bucks for one um I am glad I got it on Amazon for three for $9.99 I don't know it looks the same to me I'm sure it's probably different in some aspects but the quality of this $9.99 for three um not great not horrible you know, I, I've been bending it a lot, and you can see like it's very funky bend because I get it really tight on my finger for when I'm using it. So I'm getting a little bit of a crack going on. Maybe that was already there, but it seems like a crack from bending on the silver plating. So, you know, 10 bucks for three. If it works, you know, that that that's going to be fine. I wouldn't wear this all day probably, so I don't know if it's going to turn my finger green or anything but they do boast that you can like open it up and slide it down and wear it when you're not using it and then just slide it back up when you need it. I'm, I'm very minimal on jewelry, so I probably wouldn't wear it all day. But if it's something that where I'm running around the house and I need to get up and sit down and you know, this is a lot less cumbersome and in the way compared to some other yarn tension guides, you know, where they have like little things sticking out everywhere so this is definitely more low profile. So what I'm interested to see is how well this guy works in different yarn because you can see like the little that little swan head that's where the yarn's supposed to come through and it's very pointy so I'm afraid it's gonna catch yarn and split it and I'm afraid that it won't take more maybe worsted would probably be the thickest that I could get in there so I don't know if it'll work for bulky. I think it's just going to get split by that little swan head. We'll see. I'm going to try it out. I'll let you know how it goes. If it works well, I'm going to give away the other two. I don't want to give them away if it's not great because I just feel bad <laughs> getting sticking you with it, you know, if it's not great. So I'm going to try it. I'll let you know what I think and if I'm going to be giving some away. Okay, so the way that this works is you're going to put the ring on with the swan facing up, take your yarn tail and you're going to kind of bring it around the tail of the swan. I'm gonna have to move it up a little to get room under and then through the middle and then around the swan head. So this is a worsted um, kind of wool roving and you can see it fits very well in there. Hopefully it doesn't start um, you know, splitting it because of that pointiness. Um, maybe the pointy helps keep it in there better. I'm not sure. Then I'm just going to kind of let it sit between my hand. I guess I could bring it over as well, but um, I found this works just as well too. You want to get it nice and tight so that the ring doesn't move. So as you can see, as I'm doing this, it's just giving me the slack that I need to do my stitches. So it actually, and it turns a little and that's kind of the spot that works best for me. So it does give me a good tension. I'm not holding it at all with my other hand. I'm just kind of holding it um, out of the way and I could do it this way as well and it would work. So you can see that it's pulling it nice and taut, but not too tight. It's, it's moving nice and easy. And I think having it go through the tail is what makes it work so well. So this is roving um, or like a one ply wool. So I will see it's kind of getting <laughs> stuck up there. So I'll pull that a little. Um, I'm gonna do some other yarns too. So I'll show you some other ones now. So here I am with kind of an amigurumi start, tight stitches, medium worsted with a 3.5 hook. And again, the way to wind this is you're going to come around the tail, through the middle, and around the head. 
and I've been doing a few stitches with this and it's you know you want to get it cinched down really good so you have good tension but it does seem to let me get in the right spot this is where it turns and you got to kind of finesse it when you first put it on so that's a little loose for me so I want to kind of bend it a little more so it's catching right on the yarn but these tight stitches are actually working quite well with the swan so I'm liking it for the amigurumi or you know very tight stitches I'm going to try some super bulky yarn next because that's the one that I think is definitely not going to work with that tiny little swan head. All right, I just got set up with the super bulky. I haven't even tried a stitch yet. I did all this um, outside of the swan and I just put it on because I want to see what happens when I start stitching because it's looking really close to where that head is. I'm afraid it's going to get caught. So let's see what happens. So far, so good. It's not getting caught. It's going, coming through pretty easily. Give myself way too much slack. <laughs> I meant to pull slack from the ball, not from my finger. So actually, this is working. I am really surprised. It doesn't seem to be, let's see if I, yeah, just about any way I pull, it's not catching. So I'm pleasantly surprised that the swan is not catching the super bulky. So let me just turn this. This thing's, I don't have it in the right spot. It's annoying me. But yeah, that's, that's really surprising to me that it works. So I'm actually really excited about that because I do a lot of actually tight stitches with my super bulky yarn like when I'm making baskets where that would come in handy to kind of help with finger you know fatigue from holding the tension so strongly because you can see I'm not doing anything it's all on the ring it's a little catchy. I probably just need to adjust it more. So it's kind of like I have to kind of like pull and pull, you know, to get each stitch out. Um, so it's probably a little too tight in a certain spot, not tight enough in another spot. So overall, I really like this ring. It is working really well. There are quite a few different options on Amazon. They all look similar to me. There might be just a slight design change. So, you know, check the link for the one that I purchased. It was a three pack for $9.99. I'm probably going to give away the other two. So if you aren't already, subscribe to my blog. The link is below or follow me on Instagram um, and you'll get the details for the giveaway. Uh, otherwise, thank you for watching.